What's up guys, this is Quincy with CoinClub Crypto and today I want to talk about where I see the future of crypto going. Um, you see a lot of people in the crypto space talk about crypto finance, DeFi, these different tokens, cryptocurrencies, and I think a lot of the times we sort of miss the point because at the end of the day, these technologies run on blockchains. And in the future, I think there's a lot of really interesting perks that blockchains will be able to uh, provide that are sort of overlooked. Now, people sort of understand the idea of like tokens and currencies and being able to exchange assets on these networks. And it's actually great for that because now you can have a means of being able to exchange assets with anyone in the world without having to be reliant on a central party to do so. And there's a lot of things that can be done with that. Um, but one of the things that I feel like is kind of missed is these blockchain networks allow for the scaling of applications like applications wouldn't be able to do traditionally in a traditional uh, setting and you can already see this with tokens when you set up a token on any of these blockchains um anybody in the world that can have access to the internet access to that network can engage with it and that is a feat within its own but it doesn't just limit itself just to tokens this could also include uh dApps. this can include uh agreements this can include so many other things like startups and stuff and what you're gonna end up seeing with that is you'll be able to see applications also be able to scale worldwide. So as soon as somebody launches an application online, I could have launched it in California, but now people in Japan or in Singapore or in Russia or Europe can all interact with it with the same level of consistency in terms of uh, what type of engagement they get. Um, and these applications, since they reside on the blockchain, are highly available. Now, when an application is highly available, it means it's just not going down. You know, the old school idea of like, oh, so many people went to this website and the website went down. It typically means that they had some availability issues. Well, with blockchain technology, since the entire blockchain runs decentrally all around the world, uh, your applications are always available because there's always a node out there that's running them. And that's a whole nother level of like, holy cow, you can build an application that can scale worldwide and never go down. And anybody with access to the Internet can interact with it. That's amazing. But that doesn't even get into the biggest thing. Well, because these networks are decentralized, you don't have to pay to host them yourself. So traditionally, you would have to set up some cloud environment, um, some traditional uh, infrastructure, something to be able to set up your servers, set up your networking, set up your databasing, hook everything together, make sure it's highly available, make sure it's scalable, make sure it's able to be accessed from users all around the world. And this is a huge hassle. And the cost for this is insane. We're talking about hundreds of thousands, not millions of dollars for your favorite applications. Blockchain applications essentially operate decentrally, so the hosting cost is zero, and you pay transaction fees depending on the network. So to be able to engage with highly scalable applications that never go down, that can be accessed by anyone online at zero cost, essentially is capable with these blockchain technologies. And we can, like I said, we're already seeing this with tokens. Uh, one thing that you're sort of seeing now in terms of the token space, in terms of uh, the idea of like currencies is very cheap transaction fees and transactions 24 seven rather than just during like uh, bank hours. And that's already something that's really amazing. But I think we're gonna see a lot of other things too. Like I think we're gonna end up seeing like the next wave of startups that are run by two or three people out of some random, you know, college dorm room or some some random uh, some some random place or whatever, and be able to build massively scalable applications with hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of users with very little with very little effort. But one of the main things that I think is sort of overlooked in terms of uh, the future of crypto, the future of blockchain, and the future of the use of these technologies. And this is what I think is one of the one of the key pivotal things that is entirely missed. When applications operate on the blockchain, well, there's two things. One, if you build an application, it intuitively can be interacted with with any other application. So if somebody put up a smart contract and it did a couple of functions, I could build another smart contract that can execute those functions. So right off the bat, you have a means of applications to be able to interact with each other in a way that they weren't able to before. Or in the traditional means, you would have to build out a whole bunch of APIs, webhooks, even potentially ETLs, extract, translate, and load. These are just different pipelines to move data. And it can be incredibly cost, uh, incredibly cost, um, it can be incredibly expensive to set up. It can be incredibly um, time exhausting to manage. And it's something that's required on the developers to put together as opposed to something being natively inherent to the network itself. But with that, you can have applications that can execute off of each other, but you could have an interface like a web app or a mobile application have the capability of interacting with any dApp 
any contract, any token, anything that resides on that network can now be interacted with with one interface, one mobile app, one website. You can interact with everything on the network. Now, this is sort of an in theory thing because then there's the idea of, well, do I have to hook up all these different smart contracts and am I going to go around and actually do that or am I going to do that for the ones that I like that may uh, create more uh, positive externalities for my application? Um, but it's something that it's very much very much possible that is incredibly difficult to do in a traditional setting. Like I said, usually developers will build out different APIs to be able to let other developers or other uh, parties be able to engage with their application. This is a, a native thing. So now every single application on the network, big or small, can be interacted with with anybody's uh, 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 interface with, with all the smart contracts being all on the same blockchain you can have any application interact with any sort of smart contract or dap that it wants to it can have that dap interact with other smart contracts and other dapps that it wants to and it allows essentially a cohesive means for any user to interact with a multitude of different applications without a set of developers having to build all these different uh, conjoining means of being able to keep, make that possible. It's all entirely native as an aspect of the network itself. But it's one of those things where I feel like that's where the future is going to go. It's going to be the applications that are built, the engagement that those applications have, and what those applications mean for the future, similar to how normal applications operate. The only difference is, instead of just an application being popular and that's that, popular applications on the blockchain essentially create more demand for the blockchain. But yeah, I hope you guys love that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you like, share, and subscribe, and peace out. Later.